legal billing. Raza, thank you for joining us and making time to be with us today. Yeah, happy to be here, Joe. Thank you. We're going to, this is a very interesting topic and in what we had talked about with each other um, in a few meetings before a webinar. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about your yourself and what uh, what kind of got you started uh, with time solve it's kind of an interesting uh, story uh, about both i mean both about yourself but more importantly about time solve what uh, how did that come about all right so just a quick uh, piece of information about myself i learned about the internet in about 96 97 time frame uh, while getting an MBA at the University of Minnesota. And I decided that I would focus my career uh, with web-based web applications. So mm -hmm. that was kind of a turning point for me. And after that, I worked at five different uh, companies providing web applications. And I ended up uh, working for Thomson Reuters uh, during my, I guess, uh, transition to multiple web-based companies. And when I was there, I came across uh, TimeSolve as a project that I was evaluating to see what to do with it because uh, Thompson was failing uh, in succeeding with it. It was a bit too early uh, as a web-based application. So luckily, I guess, uh, they didn't want to keep it and i was able to make a deal with them and they uh, out uh, or, or spun it out to me so that was nice. 2006 yep uh, but the application that you know we took over was really broken uh, in many ways uh, but i think mm -hmm. the good thing is that it still had a lot of know-how put in by the thompson's engineers because they had built many systems and they had large teams. So there was a lot of knowledge baked into the application, but it was a bit clunky at that point in time. Uh, so our goal was to redo it and we redid it completely from scratch. So I, I guess what I tell uh, our people is that TimeSolve is the oldest application with the latest technology. So that's, I, I think, to agree know, with that. Um, I guess, uh, just... yeah, it's, in, it's very interesting. We, we have a number of clients that already use time solve, uh, uh, for their tracking and billing solution. And, uh, some of them, you know, uh, I'll just be honest, uh, attorneys have very, uh, high expectations for the applications and the systems that they use and the people that support those things. And the, the, the clients, the, the law firms I know that are using your solution are not easy people to win over. And so that, that's a really good sign when you have something that professionals who uh, have such a trust in your service, it speaks, uh, it speaks volumes towards the, the service and the work that you put into it. So uh, kudos uh, for doing that and doing such a good job. Uh, we, we were talking before and just some, some personal things <clears throat> before we got started. And it was interesting. It totally unrelated to time solve, but it just kind of helps you know that, with, you know, with Raza, he's a, a very down to earth person. Uh, he loves downhill. He loves skiing, uh, going skiing. So uh, it was very interesting. We were talking about that and how I like to take my kids uh, before we go to Lake Tahoe and go and play in the snow but uh, he has quite the, quite the skiing adventures. If you ever have a chance to take a look at his bio on uh, their website, uh, you'll learn some interesting, interesting things. One of those interesting things has to do with uh, time solve itself. And because we had talked about this <clears throat> when it comes to how to be successful, uh, this is something that anybody who's a business owner is interested in. But Raza, when we were talking, this theme kept coming up. How do you define success? What exactly do you mean by that? I mean, we have some things on our slide, but could you kind of flesh that out a little bit? What did you mean by that? Yeah, so I guess, you know, I mean, I <clears throat> hear people 
discussing all kinds of features and bells and whistles when they are looking for a billing software. I mm-hmm. like to ask the question, okay, what is the fundamental need for a link software? And at a fundamental level, the billing software is to help law firms get paid. And to define success and uh, in selecting the right billing solution, which software is the best? Okay, again, it's about getting paid. So to me, the best billing software for a law firm is the one that helps them increase revenue, helps them get paid faster, and also is easy to use. So that's what are the you know the three things we like to consider as the definition of success for legal billing software. And I, I don't think anybody I guess would if disagree I with you on that. Add, you know, I we put yep. And I'd like to add, you know, that we believe in what we provide and we have a promise that it will take less time and you will make more money. And we will back this promise with a six month money back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you feel like you're not making more money and you're not spending less time or getting things done faster, we will refund uh, the money that you have paid over six months of subscription. And they, they, you guys do stand behind that. Um, and, and that's a unique in that type of service that you're providing. And, and this is not an uncommon thing that you talk about too, where you talked about, you know, what software is the best. This is something that we get when we're doing consulting with law firms and other businesses. They will frequently ask us, well, what are the best choices? What's the the best document management system? What is the best forms or macro program? What is the best PDF program? Um, And et cetera. They will ask that. So using best in class is something that, you know, professionals are interested in. They, they do want to use best in class. They don't necessarily want bleeding edge, but they do have expectations to use things that are best in class. Now there's a lot of competition out there. And uh, on your website, you had a, uh, you know, you you talk about different types of systems and comparisons. And here, this is a nice chart that you had provided because, you know, there there are a lot of them out there, but there are some that kind of, we get more questions about or we see a lot more people use than some of these others. How does TimeSolve compare with some of the other options that are available, uh, especially for the legal industry? So there are three things I'll share uh, with the audience here. Number one, again, as I said, TimeSolve is the oldest web-based billing software developed and was started, I guess, was part of uh, one of the Thompson's divisions. So it has evolved over time. That's one part. The second thing is, I believe for a legal billing software, which is online, we provide the most features. We have split billing, we have uh, fee allocations, we have conflicts check, we have a really robust uh, fixed fee billing capability to the extent that you can add time to a bill that was already paid in the past. Uh, We also have a very robust and feature rich uh, practice practice, uh, sorry, project management for law firms, enabling them to control the budgets down to timekeepers and tasks. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that differentiate us. One other thing we do is we only hire people that have experience working at law firms. So when our clients are dealing with our team, we know how to solve their problems. And the one, one other thing I'd mention is we are the only Uh, online billing uh, company that has developed fully automated conversion uh, of time slips data and PC law uh, and so on, uh, I I guess, um, uh, including tabs three, which is unique because we have spent a lot of time developing this capability Mm -hmm. and uh, we can bring over each and every record uh, so even if you have a time entry that was 20 years old, it will be available in time solve. So you do not have to rely on the old system 
once you migrate into time, uh, over to time solve. Those are great things. Um, and let's just kind of dive into them a little bit deeper, uh, which it, all the more reason why, you know, I see time solve emerging as a leader in, in billing software, or I should say billing services, uh, you know, the being a web service and uh, working that way. One of them is uh, profitability. <clears throat> now you had mentioned some of these uh, briefly. Uh, one of them that that really you have spent a lot of time on is the fixed fee billing. Um, why don't you talk about that a little bit? How how has what have you done to really make that profitable uh, for the, your clients? So, if a law firm can hone in uh, using, uh, I mean, uh, hone in the, into the fixed fee billing, fixed fee billing, if not done right, it's a double edged sword. Mm -hmm. It can, and you know, burn the law firm in the wrong way, and they can lose money on a particular matter if they don't know what they're doing. Part of the thing is that the reason fixed fee is not as popular because I believe law firms lack the right tools to make it successful and profitable. So this is the problem we have solved. So how you do this as a law firm is you can create a matter plan. So you take the matter and define everything you have to do. You assign budgets down to the task or the task and even to the timekeeper level. And by doing this whole planning, you will know how much time it's going to take and how much money it's going to require from the client. And you can quote that price to the client. The beauty of the system is as you're entering time, it is keeping tabs of how much budget has been used by task. And if a person goes over their budget, they will know that in real time, I'm exceeding the budget, or we can even limit them not to be able to go over the budget. So by doing this, you have to adhere to the plan. If you adhere to the plan, the profitability is guaranteed. So this is the unique capability of TimeSolve, planning and executing the plan. Very interesting. Now, <clears throat> When I was looking at your website, there there were two things that I found that were very unique, uh, and this is one of them. Uh, it's a tool on your website, and, and I highly encourage anyone that's listening into this to take a look at this. This is one of these tools, and it'll help you gauge your profitability. Now, I, I like I said, I've, I've never really seen anything like this in the way that is prepared and the simplicity of how it will put a nice graphical view to the numbers that can sometimes be hidden behind the scenes at a law firm. Uh, maybe briefly, Raza, maybe you could just kind of explain what we're looking at right here. So this is a calculator just for a person who is evaluating if they should use TimeSolve. Again, our system is developed for ease of use and efficiency. So because of that efficiency, we claim and pretty much guarantee that each timekeeper saves so many minutes or hours per day. So if a person just saves five minutes per day, this calculator would tell you that based on your average hourly rate, how much money you would save and com compare the savings uh, to the amount that you'll be paying for time solve. And as you can see, the bold blue bars show you that you save a lot more than what you would pay for time solve. Yeah, the, the, like I said, this was very interesting to, to run some numbers through this uh, and see that view. Uh, again, visualizing the, those hidden numbers or figures that can be behind a person or a timekeeper, as we will normally call it, uh, is really, really, really helpful. Now, another topic that come up that came up on our conversation uh, was accountability. Now, how does that play a part, and how does TimeSolve help address that for a firm? Yep. So I guess uh, you know there are three pillars of profitability. One is uh, motivating your employees to be more productive. Second mm -hmm. is to have happy customers. Okay. Uh, and I guess the third part is just 
being able to use fixed fee. Um, so for higher accountability, we recommend number one, that a firm should have a time tracking policy. What that means is, in simple words, law firms have expense tracking policies, but time is worth more. So each person should get their time in by you know end of the day or by end of the week. And TimeSolve provides the capabilities to enforce that time tracking policy. So you can close out your prior periods so that nobody can go and change those time entries or add more time. And the benefit of this is that the admin or the billing person can review those entries and make sure they got everything for the week and they're not missing anything because time is money, all right? Second thing is we have this uh, ability to track performance. So multiple dashboards, the attorneys can see this themselves or the admins can check and see if people are performing as needed. But I think another thing is, which is, as I said, enforcing time and um, enforcing accountability at the time entry level is this project management capability that we see in this graphic on the left, that you plan out a project similar to Microsoft project or any other project, and you can see everything that's happening there, who is assigned and the progress that you're making. And that is a really powerful capability to hold people accountable. You know, that's, uh, that's I would have to say that's slightly unique uh, because I think most of us, uh, myself included, you know, as a consultant, we work based on billable time. And sometimes we get stuck in the, uh, you know, I work an hour, I bill an hour. Uh, I don't necessarily right. think ahead and plan out what the project and how many hours will be part of that and then bill that, uh, I will end up just billing the actual time that I work, which in the end sometimes is more, sometimes it's less. Um, it can be a little be a little unpredictable, but it's a pretty manual method of tracking things. I can definitely see, even from my perspective in working with the clients that I work with and also for our legal clients, having a you know, a budget assigned to a, a project does open up a large door of, of possibilities that I, I didn't really see before. Now, uh, along with that, there was another term that came from our, um, our discussion, and this was uh, what's called zero AR. Now, I think, <laughs> don't laugh, this is for our audience, zero AR, really? Uh, I, you know, pretty much every month I get a, a report on, you know, who is all on the AR list and what are the ages of the different AR things. So when you so when you see say zero AR, what what do you mean by that, uh, Raza? What's what's going on? Yeah, so zero AR is I call this a philosophy. Okay, uh, so when I call it a philosophy, it requires different way for a law firm to operate, but to accomplish that different mindset, we provide the right tools for it. So how this works is that instead of the current or the typical way that a law firm bills, uh, attorneys work one month, they generate the bills the second month, and then usually it's net 30, so they get paid the third month, and that is considered getting paid in time. All right, so that's to, to us is, you know, where uh, that's one of the causes that law firms only collect about 80% of what they bill. Okay, and that's, you know, uh, pretty pathetic, I guess, you know, a way of running a business that you only get paid 80% of what you have billed. So how we have this zero AR setup is that during the engagement process, you collect the credit card or the ACA just like you provide this to your utility companies or your cable TV and so on. So you take this information and then once you have this available and stored in a time of, um, it becomes a two click process to bill all the invoices. And how you do this is that the clients would be sent out invoices and there is automated uh, batch emailing of invoices with a message to the client, which again is customized to the firm's needs. 
telling the client that please see attach your invoice if you have any objections please let us know otherwise we will go ahead and process these invoices with the payment method that you have provided on file and if they don't pay anything then you go ahead and with two clicks literally select all the invoices and click on charge and it's going to charge all those invoices and within a minute all your invoices get paid so instead of this process which takes multiple uh, days you get paid in just uh, you know matter of a few or five days very interesting. So that's what this zero AR is all about and I believe it's a different way of running a law firm but if you do that we know of uh, law firms that are collecting about 97 percent okay compared to an 80 percent average for a normal or an average law firm and that's a big that's a big difference it makes a big difference in uh yeah, I mean, in the receipts that you have coming in. And again, uh, you have th this great tool on your website. This is the second tool that I had found. Uh, again, very unique that helps you to visualize uh, what this change in mentality using the tools that you have in the, the product uh, to accomplish that and what it means to your, to your bottom line. Uh, and you can't argue with what you know, you're looking at for the numbers. And again, the, the numbers are sometimes hard to visualize. So having this, this very beautiful tool to present it in a way that makes it easy to understand uh, and simple to, to enter in. And again, I think that goes back towards, you know, your whole product and the service and the look and feel and how it works. <clears throat> Which... Why don't we go ahead and take a look at a few screens to see what this looks at so we can show our audience here. Okay. We'll move on into our first slide that we have here. Um, this was, uh, this is a slide here to about the invoices. Is that right? Yeah, it's just showing, you know, again, we have made it really easy for a person to look at invoices or if they need to mark an invoice uh, as a way to, you know, pay it. It's really simple. So we're just looking at one of those screens showing that. Yeah. And everyone, you're going to notice in, in these these slides, these, these came out of the program. You know, it's got some graphics on it to highlight certain sections. But I think you're going to come to appreciate the simplicity of, of everything. You're not overwhelmed with a lot of data, um, but there's a lot of power behind it. Here's another one. Um, this is the reports view. Now, I'll have to admit... <clears throat> There's a lot of different types of reports uh, that you'd want to produce, and we didn't have time or you know the the space to be able to go into every single different type of report. But what are some of the you know, Raz, you've worked with a lot of firms. What are some of the reports that you you know when people are thinking about switching services or will this service do? What are some of the reports that you most frequently get uh, requests about or question about? Yeah, so I think before I answer that, uh, just to share with people, we have about uh, 32 reports and you can see we have categorized them in six different categories. So depending upon whatever your business need is, you know, if you want to look for performance mm -hmm. or you want to look at invoices and payments, uh, these are categorized for uh, you to be able to find them quickly. So your question is which reports are sort of more popular so I would say that typically the, you know, we have a report where you can see invoices and uh, payments that are allocated to each invoice broken down by how that allocation uh, is spread between fees and uh, expenses mm -hmm. and tax or anything else that the invoices, uh, you know, or in anything else you may have on that invoice. I think there are five different things uh, that a payment could be applied to. So I think that's one report. Again, we also have a very robust trust accounting capability. So the other part is sometimes, you know, people want to see the trust account uh, ledger and that's available. Uh, finally, I think the other one is uh, the fee allocation or commissions report. That's also very powerful and uh, provides a lot of value to the law firms. 
Very, very nice. Again, there there are lots of them there. Uh, we have two other slides here. Uh, this will be probably of, of greater uh, you know, importance to the timekeepers. And this is where you enter in your time. Uh, again, the view is very clean. It's uncluttered. Uh, it has everything that you're looking for uh, in being able to, to enter in the information. And it uh, works from you know, any, any device. It works really, really well. Yeah, and, and if then, I may uh, just add... A mm -hmm. couple of things is that, you know, our focus is to make it really efficient. So there are there's more than one way of entering time. Um, but just what you're looking at, you can have pre-canned uh, descriptions that you can use and edit and combine as needed. So the firm mm -hmm. is using their branded language. Uh, the second thing is you can copy previous entries and just create a new entry from there. So again, it's designed to make it really quick. And then finally, if you do have this matter planning setup, you can click on the items that are assigned to you. And then by one click, it fills out the client matter uh, information. And then you just enter the hours and the description on what you have done. So it's, it just makes it really quick. And easy to enter time. Very nice. These are common things that they're, you know, they're going to ask for, uh, or I should say, are accustomed to using in other programs. So having those tools, uh, or even more enhanced uh, from what they're currently using, is a big plus. Now, here's another view that's very popular: is just kind of an overview or summary view of where your time has gone. Uh, for the week, along with your totals uh, for your hours and also the amount that you can easily get uh, at a glance. So that kind of takes us into, you know, we've looked at the, the product, you know, a few of the pages of what it looks like when you're, when you're using uh, time solve. There is another piece to this puzzle that comes into play uh, in, a, in, you know, going beyond the accountability and uh, you know the the profitability, and that is uh, the uh, being more efficient. Uh, what do you right. what how does what are some things? Uh, talk about that. How does how does time solve help you be more efficient? I think some of that seems self, you know, kind of obvious, but kind of walk us through that. Yeah, so I think again, where people spend most of the time is on time entry because you have multiple time entries every day. And as we are building time solve, we are really recognizant and focusing on how things can be done efficiently. So for the time entry, again, as I said, you can copy entries, you can use abbreviations to fill your descriptions quickly. In addition, you can enter your time from any device, any place with or without the internet, which is unique for time solve. So that's your time entry. Then when you're doing the billing, you can do batch billing and everything is relatively automated. Uh, when I say relatively, I mean compared to other systems where emails go out automatically with the invoices, people can click on a link, embed it in the email to pay the invoice. And if you need to bill multiple clients, you can do split billing. Finally, the application the, the technology behind is also speed optimized for the web. So all these things add up to provide a very highly efficient software. Very nice. You know, just one thing to add, I had worked with a client uh, who they needed to be able to do split billing between, goodness, you know, sometimes you think split billing between two different clients or two different entities. In their cases, it could sometimes go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different ways that things could be split out, uh, just depending on the project they're working on and whatnot. And they were impressed with how your product does that without any add-ons, and you can split and split and split uh, to your heart's desire. That was a huge, uh, huge plus for them. Um. Raza, this was great information to help us. You know, we, we talked about those three different areas, all of these things tied together. I really can see where it can help you be 
more successful. I mean, these are key components, being accountable, uh, being efficient, you know, managing your profitability. And we encourage uh, anyone who's interested, take a look at their website. Uh, you know, Raza had mentioned this before. They On their website, they have a place where you can uh, initiate a free trial. And as uh, Raza had noted, uh, there's a money back guarantee. If you do not, you know, are not happy with the product and the service and are not, uh, you know, realizing the efficiency and the profitability um, and the accountability uh, that we've talked about, they stand behind their service uh, in doing so. So take a look at their website. L look at those tools for uh, taking a look at the zero AR and also, also the profitability tools to help gauge and prepare reports for you to help talk about and visualize how TimeSolve can, can help you. Well, Raza, thank you for joining us today. That's going to wrap up our 30 minutes. We really appreciate you taking the time to join us, uh, taking time away from your family. Uh, we certainly appreciate kind of taking through each of these little steps and defining those things for us and explaining them. Um, if you would like to reach out to, to TimeSolve uh, with Raza, uh, you can reach them at sales at timesolve.com. Of course, you can always reach out to us at Terrapin Technology at info at terrapintechnology.com. Raza, thank you for joining us. It was really nice getting to know you and having this discussion. Thank you, Joe, for the opportunity. We'd love to serve the clients. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for attending.